Hello everyone, my name is Fajab Purnama and in the previous video I made a demonstration of my open relay on Linux. This time I'm going to demonstrate on Windows. So straight to the point, I am now in in, in taking a vacation at my in my home country in Indonesia. I'm at the capital city of Denpasar and my relay server is in Kumamoto University where the relay server are Squid Proxy, OpenVPN, and Tor. So, and the problem is, here I'm, okay, let's go to what's my IP. The problem is, uh, I'm in Indonesia, and one of my mobile or internet provider called this one, or actually most provider in Indonesia is uh, is for enforcing censorship. I understand that if the censorship is about pornography, drugs, weapons, illegal stuff, and other dangerous stuff, but what I don't understand is if the censorship is Reddit and my favorite, one of my favorite um, manga, comic, or anime site, this one. So as you can see, it's turning around and it seems to be blocked. So what should I do? So I have, so while I was studying in Japan and I'm still studying there, I have a relay server there. And it's an open relay server, so I just need to connect to there. So the first method is through a squid proxy server. So do check in your browser first whether there is a proxy configurations <coughs> proxy mm, for this one netbox chrome and other stuff and some browsers are using the default computer computer proxy settings which you, which you can just type here or go to the settings and search for proxy settings for Firefox and I don't know which one else but they have a built-in proxy so you better configure that one first but this time my proxy configuration is inside the operating system itself <coughs> and now I'm going to turn on my proxy setting I will remove the address so my relay server I set it to this one this is the domain the dynamic domain name and this is the port of my proxy server, save. So about the port forwarding and the dynamic domain name of my, of the, my router in my apartment I made on this video. So this time I will try to <coughs> connect. Oh, and I set a password for my proxy server because I don't have enough bandwidth to allow everyone in the world to access or else it will break down. And this is just a temporary server. I will not be. I will be taking it down once I'm back in Japan to work again. So as you can see, it's. I've been redirected to my proxy server in Kumamoto in Kumamoto apartment, and the, this is the IP. And this is as you can see the ISP and the location and stuff and now let's try whether I can access reddit and kiss manga <clears throat> and as you can see I'm able to access reddit and kiss manga through the um, proxy server okay so that's it the next one is the VPN server I tried using a VPN here but it's too complicated you need to build this and build that or because it currently is not in default available okay let's first let's go back what's my IP and now let's just use reddit as an example so reddit is blocked and now I'm back to using my ISP here therefore for Windows, we, the easiest way for me is to download the OpenVPN client and install. So now I have an OpenVPN client 
in this one run as admin administrator if necessary and then already have a profile but how to do the profile is okay let me just try again from the beginning delete you can just import for example this is my profile or just double click <coughs> Okay, this is for my Tor browser for the next one or just double click and then automatically you will go to OpenVPN make sure you name your profile to .ovpn all small characters if you slightly change the extension even if you use capital letters it will not work so app okay available and then make sure to check your settings are you using uh, TCP or UDP on your server so it depends on the server so you need to synchronize with the server you are using compression if you use you should use if not don't and this one too and if you think it's alright then just connect <coughs> But before that, what is inside this OVPN? You can find it in wiki.telnotelnotonica.it, which is the easiest one for me to find. So here on the open, here on they have a tutorial of setting up OpenVPN client con configuration. So for example, like this, set it to client, and it's the same as the one. It's similar to the one on Linux, but for the OVPN, you put all your certificate in one place. So here, there you in here if you watch my previous video on Linux, I uh, set my cert CSR and key, no cert CA certificate and key. It's easier to put them into the dot OVPN all of them, and you can. You can download a sample template here. Here it is, a sample template. Put your C certificate here, your certificate, client certificate, and your key. And change the remote, which is mine, will be 0 Vajapurnama 0 DNS.net, and I'm using this port. Now let's check. Okay, so I'm connected and to the VPN and now let's check if I can access Reddit or not. Looks like I'm able to access Reddit. So if you if you did what I did and you still cannot connect, first if you have an internet problem, where's the bookmark? If you have the internet problem problem you can connect for example to your router or to your local client inside the VPN for example this one I can connect to my router but you cannot connect to the internet <coughs> you can try following okay this post even though this one is actually open VPN server for Windows he has a problem and how to it is about how to forward the internet connection using redirects and to the IP table this is what should be done on the server but I did this on the client so go to servers and find routing and remote access so go to this one Routing and remote access, where it is, this one, and this one is usually disabled, this time I do it automatic. Offer routing servers to businesses in local area and wide area network environment. I think this one was the problem. And if you still keep on having problem, for me, I skipped this one, I didn't do this. And the other one is this one. Oh no, it's running low.
Okay, I'm back. Looks like I was having a battery problem, but I think this is done. I'll check again. So go to Recedit, find Recedit. And this one go to here it is. Go to hot local key system current control service TCP IP parameters. Keep on opening the folders and set the this one where it is. IP enable router it is one. But I think this one is actually IP forwarding, which is for the server, but who knows? Anyway, just try this if you cannot connect to the internet. Yeah, looks like my my open VPN is down. Okay, now it's up again. Okay, it's up again because my computer was off. Okay, what else? Okay, after that, <coughs> after you did this, I it still didn't work for me back then, but. I restart my computer so try restarting your computer too and then try again and then now it works for me connecting to oven PPN now what else okay if you are able to connect to the internet like this but still you cannot connect to reddit then make sure you go to network and sharing center show available okay and then change connection properties oh man what's wrong with this this is taking so long okay finally so go to your main connection whether it is cable or USB tethering or Wi-Fi and it's using this DNS server if they try deleting this DNS server and change it to Google's as for me it really works by just giving uh, pushing Google server to 888 from my open VPN server configurations so for example on this one set to 888 and then for this one you can choose this one leave it empty or just put 888 as well something like that if you still unable to connect to reddit but you are able to connect to the internet okay so that is all about the VPN okay disconnect the next one is the Tor so I have a Tor browser and actually I don't need to connect to my relay or my apartment or my the bridge because <coughs> because my Tor browser is already able to connect to the Tor network and it's running okay so I really can't what you call it I really can't demonstrate what is my IP so as you can see, I can access Reddit again. Anyway, if you cannot connect to the Tor network because your your ISP or your internet connection or your government or your whatever your connection is heavily monitored or heavily censored, you need to use a bridge. And then here it is. I'm using. Tor exit relay. Thank you, someone who used that relay. Yeah, 
you need to use a bridge provide a bridge and then put the bridge mine is okay using my domain name doesn't work for some reason I have to use my IP address and then is 9001 I use this is the port I use for my bridge and then view the logs if there is no problem then switching guard context to bridge but still I'm quite um, curious what is my IP is it still the same or did it change <coughs> on them okay what about this one let's use oh it's the same yep it's the same one and I need to be to verify myself I'm not a robot Okay, so let's try using the top one or this one. Or I just open this one as well. Looks like it's taking time to scan. How strange but anyway that is all from me uh, that's how I did it on Windows IP version 4 not detected that is crazy Okay, cannot detect the IP address. That's uh, very rare stuff. But anyway, it works. And this is it. So anyway, if you cannot access the Tor network, you need to find a bridge. Anything less than I left out? Nope. Then that is all the tutorial. Thank you.